Jackson looks to the bench. He's out there with Ferguson, Beelan, Y, and Alexander for Detroit. Seven minutes left in the half. Detroit has four points now on the jump hook by Bakari Alexander. Nice job patiently, and they're not going to double. There's not that offensive threat down low, so you've got to maintain position on the defensive end against them. Sanderson inside. Put it on the floor, and they almost lost it again. Out of bounds. Last touch by Y. Give Detroit a chance to get some confidence. That's what's happening right now. Ohio State should have had this game well in hand. Race with Savovich, Brown, Red, and Sanderson on the court for Ohio State. There's that double they like. What a rotation. Bad pass by Reese. Jackson picked it off and laid it in. And what a scoring spurt this is, relatively speaking. <laughs> You're on the edge of your seat, huh? <laughs> but it's all set up by their defense. You're on double the box, step in the passing lane. A six to one run for the Titans. And they're down by just seven. With six ten left in the first half. We laughed at that 43 to 32 score yesterday. This is starting to look good, huh? Yes, it is. Southwest Missouri State against Wisconsin. That was the final. And the Bears win. Shooting has been terrible. Reese, a wild shot from in close, but a foul on the rebounding action against Detroit. Everybody's in a hurry, and defensively, just terrific understanding of how to double the box, and then we're going to see them react in the passing lane. Jermaine Jackson, here's the double. They did that at Michigan selectively. Perry Watson likes to do it. The rest, a little discard with the right hand and the finish by Jermaine Jackson, so maybe a little spark. That's how they like to score. Well, good defensive position and reaction. Sanderson goes to the line. He did well off the bench, gave him six points, a rebound and a steal in six minutes against Murray State. 65% free throw shooter. Foul on Alexander was his second. And the team seven, so Detroit is over the limit. Savovich went out of the ball game with Reese. Singleton is back in with Penn. For the Buckeyes, one out of two for Sanderson. Ken Johnson's going to come back in as well. Sanderson leaves after scoring his first point. Well, if anything, the depth should help them. Rotation, got plenty of rest for Scooney. And now the big guy able to get some comfort on the pines. Ken Johnson. Main Jackson. Almost had it picked off by Red. Ferguson to Jackson, shot clock at 13. Remains a senior from Detroit out of Finney High School. Ferguson, the floater, didn't get the roll. Why a little bit early on the jump as that ball hung on the rim a while. Brown, Penn will settle. He knows how to pull the plug, doesn't he? Nice flare to the corner in case nobody responded. Scooty Penn gets it to the middle. The youngsters turn away from that graphic. Shooting percentages ugly. <laughs> and a foul called on Beelan as Penn and Beelan were on the floor. Tom Lopes and Tom Harrington each blew the whistle. Looked like Harrington was going to call a foul on Penn. And Lopes waved him off, said, Nope, I'm calling the foul on Beelan. And Perry felt that this one should have gone his way. Now that's pretty much a play on, yeah. I think, huh? I don't know how you could call it on Beelan. Well, ride the pony. That was a game when we were youngsters, but I think it's the quickness of the shot, the excitement. They're just not stroking the basketball. Every uh, defensively, yes, they're in position, uh, but some open looks not going down. Penn made the first. What was ride the pony? That's a little game we played in our neighborhood. We didn't have toys. <laughs> Penn has six, now seven. And it's back to a 10 point edge for Ohio State with five minutes left in the first half. Sean McDonough, Bill Raftery, Michelle Tafoya, delighted to have you with us from the RCA Dome in Indianapolis, which next year will host the Final Four. Julian Van Dyke just into the ball game for Detroit. He was fouled in the arm and a reach in by Brian Brown. That's two on Brown. 
Well, it's a one-on-one -on -one opportunity upcoming for Van Dyke. Everett High School, where he's a teammate of Desmond Ferguson, his Titan teammate. Couldn't quite bank that free throw in, and Penn pulled down the rebound. Everett High School, famous for Magic Johnson. That's where he went. Savavich missed a three. Rebound, Van Dyke. Dyke saw very little action at midseason. Matter of fact, he had a stretch of five games in which he did not play at all in four of them, but he has appeared now in 18 straight games since. More of a member of the rotation. Now, Perry plays that control kind of game, so he keeps the mainstays on the floor. Travel against Jackson. Four turnovers. But the shooting's been the problem. Three for 21, 14.3% for Perry Watson's team. And John, you look at Perry there, all of their players are from Michigan or the Detroit area. Only one out of the area. He's like Luke Kamaseki. He could coach or recruit with tokens. Penn drains a three. Well, last year, Detroit was the only team in the tournament with players from entirely one state. They were all from Michigan. This year, 12 of their 13 active players are from Michigan. Daniel Wise from Columbia, Maryland. But Brown really can defend and talking to Ohio State players. They said they don't enjoy him in practice, particularly Scooby Penn last year. He can get after you. Ten points, nine rebounds in the half for Scooty Penn. Jackson that stuck in the air and threw it right to Scooty Penn. 19 6 Ohio State, a chance to pad the lead. Brown quickly to the basket. Johnson missed a dunk. Johnson is coming along, Sean. Defensively ex excellent blocking the shot, but here's Scooney's deep three. Little nylon from deep. He spreads out, and the nice thing he can play off the ball is run the show. But Johnson with the defensive play and then the run down the floor and catch in traffic. Terrific response. Two shots. And Johnson, one of the three Buckeyes from Detroit, he's out of Henry Ford High School. And usually when we have players who play Division I basketball, we talk about their high school days and their teams were undefeated or lost one and won the state title. Even with Johnson on the Henry 14, they were 6 and 13 in senior year. <laughs> well, he, what did Jimmy describe him? He loves to play the piano, but he's an artsy guy. Yes. A work in they... progress of basketball. He started playing very late in high school, kind of got pressured into it because of his size. Artsy guy. I thought they were a little more cultured in Boston. I guess not. 6, 319 left for the first half. Give rest, maybe he can be a guy to get some touches and do some damage. He just can't ring the bell. Phillips, a three. Oh. He was obliterated. I don't know how he saw the rim. Sanderson up big. First three pointer for Detroit. They're one out of ten. From beyond the arc. Under a minute left in the half. Ken Johnson with a shot clock at 10. Ooh. Nice move. How about that? I think it's Jimmy O'Brien resting red. They let him in, brought him out. I just think a great job by Ken Johnson on both ends of the floor. He's the hub of the offense against that zone, kicking, or that time with great pivot feet. Buckeye fans on their feet. A five seconds difference between the game clock, which you see, and the shot clock. Now at 15. So they can double because they're not sure why he can make that. And he couldn't that time, and Ferguson's over the back of the rebounding action. First foul on Desmond Ferguson. Oh, see if anybody's alive in there. Perry will check him out. Sanderson at the line. One and one for Sanderson, who's one out of two from the line. And John made the first. Part of the, the difficulty with Jim O'Brien with Sanderson is finding the right position. Jim says he's really not a perimeter player at 6'7", the shooting skills. He's kind of undersized to be a power forward. He's always playing up a position, Jimmy feels. Uh, right now, Sean, I think it's imperative that Ohio State contain offensively. Don't gamble, but just be solid. Here they do, extend the floor, make it tough with 14 on the clock. Little Ten trap. seconds left in the half. This is the largest lead for Ohio State. Why? A three. 
Well, he matched Wisconsin's first half total of 12 with that three-pointer. And they head to the locker room with perhaps just a little momentum. A double-double for Scooney Penn. The Buckeyes lead at the half. Here's Greg. Through, uh, he's missing in action tonight. Singleton played it into Penn. And now Brown on the court with Red and Johnson for Ohio State to begin the second half. They go right into Red. And that's what Perry Watson was talking about. Ohio State has been much more aggressive in taking it to the hoop. Beautiful duck in two. Nice bounce pass. Tiny, impeccable. There's four points for Red. We've got two quick fouls in the first half. And stepping out, Walter Kraft to bury the jumper. Two in a row. We <laughs> now maybe everybody relax a little and start playing up to their ability. Penn shut off on the dribble by Phillips. Phillips, Jackson, Kraft, Alexander, and Ferguson out there for Detroit. And the rebound to Bakari Alexander. Jackson bounces to the bucket and gets fouled. And obviously that was the message that Perry Watson delivered to his team. The same thing that he said to Michelle. Very forceful there. That's something that we haven't seen at all. Everything was perimeter oriented. The Bakari Alexander coming on the floor said we're the comeback kids. Well, we'll see. So we will find out shortly, but they're playing with a little more zeal and aggressive nature exhibiting itself. Jermaine Jackson will shoot two. Of course, he has two shots. a famous name, Jermaine Jackson. Only Jackson five. And when we asked him if he ever gets teased about it, he said <laughs> the sophomore year they're playing a game at Butler, and they have great fans at Butler in the dog pound. And as he was winding up to take a free throw, and there's Jermaine Jackson, the Jackson five. A fan, just as he got to the top of his release, yelled out, I have a picture unclothed of your sister Janet. And he said he double clutched the middle of the free throw and missed the free throw. <laughs> well, that would jar laugh. your attention a little bit. He is not related to that Jackson family. Three points for Jermaine. Hey, hey. You name the rest of the Jackson five to Bo, Phil, Michael. <laughs> That's the extent of my background. A little inside screen didn't work. Johnson lowers his shoulder and a foul called. You can see his attention to detail. He understands how to do it. It's just the efficiency and the quickness that's lacking so far for Ken Johnson. Colin Kraft is first, the team's first, and Ken Johnson will go to the free throw line. He's from Detroit, and Perry Watson tried to recruit him. And Perry told us yesterday he thought that Ken Johnson was coming to the University of Detroit Mercy and then Randy Ayers came in late did a great recruiting job for Ohio State and the former coach got Johnson to come to Columbus. Because remember telling both of us about Robert Trailer? That one broke his heart. He thought he was going to have him and Steve Fisher came in after midnight. And got Trailer to go to Michigan. Jackson across midcourt with his team down by 14. Jermaine did grow up. A big fan of Michael Jackson in the Jackson class. They had a Michael Jackson jacket and doll, and even had the curl in the front of his forehead that he Michael told, Jackson. What did he say? Had. Cherry curl. Yes. Scooney Penn called for his second foul. Two team fouls. Wasn't in the act of shooting, so Jermaine Jackson will play it in. We're trying to make sure this is not the last game of his Detroit career. Phillips guarded by Brown. A little bit short with the three, and it rattled out to Ken Johnson. Singleton with a nice check out on Alexander as well that trip. The more you watch Singleton, the more you appreciate he's another guy that does a lot of little things. Detail, detail oriented. And you need those role contributors. We go inside to Johnson. He shoots over double team too strong. Ferguson knocks Singleton to the deck. Lewis hopes he delivers as strong a blow tonight. Ferguson with a three. And that pull by Ferguson deeply needed. He didn't stroke it well in the first half. One of the first open looks, and he shot it with confidence. 0 for 6 in that first half. 
An 11 point game, 29 18. Two and a half minutes played in the second half, and Tom Wilkes blows the whistle for a hand check on Rashad Phillips. And you can see the open look, a little bit of a zone opportunity here, the drive draw in the dish as the knockdown complements the delivery. That's three fouls on Phillips. So he goes to the bench, and Darius Beelan comes in. They lose a lot of offense in that exchange. Penn for three, a little short. Rebound Kraft. Bodies fly again. Alexander got tangled up with Singleton. Last night they reversed the ball well. Jackson trying to get in the post area. Ferguson tees up another three. Rebound Penn. <laughs> 11 rebounds for Scooney Penn. Red, the bounce oh. to the basket. Body control. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Quiet night so far for Red. Just six points. Look out. Jackson <laughs> got to the goal line and a close line. <laughs> It looks like a goal line stand John Cooper to be proud of. A late night dancer wishes they could move this well, huh? Extraordinary body control. The kiss at the end, it's becoming very physical. It's yes. a, Sean. Mm -hmm. a lot of bodies whacking away. Ohio State by 13. The foul on Singleton, his second, the team's third. Desmond Ferguson started his career at the University of Missouri, and then Ferguson transferred to Detroit. Kraft. Long from the free throw line, Brown, the freshman with the rebound and push. He's from Brooklyn, New York. Penn. Nice extra passes, huh? Penn. Three. And that complements it. Just gorgeous delivery. Snapping. Popping the ball around the perimeter. Well, if Jim O'Brien had concerns about Scooney Penn's back, he probably doesn't have them anymore. He has 13 points and 11 rebounds. Kraft blocked by Johnson. His second block. Jackson. An air ball from three. Kraft a great save. Alexander had it deflected by Johnson. What a presence in the hole. Brown. Three. On the ropes right here. Perry Watson wants a timeout. Sean, nothing excites me more in basketball than the ability to pop it around and be on for Scooty Prize kicks to Red to Brown. And how about this? The quick feet. A little cotton swab from deep. And you're right. Running the floor, healthy. This team on fire as Brown knocks that one down. Tonight on CBS, meet two private eyes who have learned from the best, the producers of Walker, Texas Ranger. It's the next generation of justice and all new Sons of Thunder. Special guest appearance by Chuck Norris tonight on CBS. Largest lead now for the Buckeyes. They're up 19. And a whistle away from the ball. That contact continues, and it was Singleton called for his third. He's had a heck of a game. So if they do get to the matchup with Auburn, they'll need him to stand up against Njai and others. How they do Njai? There's a three for Brian Brown. His second three, he has six points. The freshman continues to impress. Yeah, the offense contribution, we heard about the defense. Ferguson, good answer with a three. Brown knocked it away from his own man Reese, but Reese retrieved by the baseline. Almost methodical in their approach right now, Sean. Michael Red. He can elevate. In traffic, he went down hard as he collided with Alexander. Jermaine Jackson the push. Hey, you gotta love Alexander's attitude. I mean, he's <laughs> the warrior mentality. Comes to set a screen. 
for Phillips who's back in with three fouls and hits a little floater from the middle of the lane. Seven points for Rashad Phillips. He was a reserve last year. Perry Watson had a group of players he called the starting eight because they had eight players who all averaged 20 minutes or more. They lost three starters in their sixth man from last year, but still came back to be in the NCAA tournament. Red has eight now. Now you got to be impressed with their defensive philosophy. It's their offense tonight that's been non-existent. And that time Red with the ball. That hit an open jumper. What Jimmy saying he's got to work on the outside mm -hmm. shot. Passed it up and got a better one. Main Jackson strokes a three. And he has six. It's interesting that they put Penn off the ball. A little flare for him. Pretty. Shot wouldn't go for Penn, but Reese has his eighth rebound. Under 13 minutes left. Ohio State leads by 19. Reds pass deflected by Jackson. Still got to Brown. Now Johnson. And he lost on the double team. Got to give it up. Only five turnovers by the Buckeyes. Jackson fouled by Penn. That's three fouls now on Scooney and five on the Buckeyes here in the second half. Teams in six days. Well, that's an exciting time of year. Well worth being involved in. And, and this one tonight, uh, Ohio State's impressed me, I think, Sean. Better basketball than I looked on tape. And at the end of the year, they weren't quite the same. And you felt the same. This is a different team tonight. It's interesting because the team they may match up with if they do advance Auburn. Same thing was said about them coming to the tournament that at the end uh, they weren't playing very well and they might be vulnerable. But it appears that both will advance to the Sweet 16, barring a major uprising by Detroit. The naysayers, the non-believers, and that's the way these guys have approached it. Jovan Sabovich. Now red. Back to Sabovich. Shaking and baking out there. And the foul called on Jermaine Jackson, is second, the team's third. Well, Auburn has already advanced with the win over Oklahoma State here earlier today. And the Tigers will get the winner of this one Thursday night in the Sweet 16 in Knoxville, Tennessee. Johnson faces up, soft touch. Quick decision. When he had the ball taken away, indecisive. He might be progressing rapidly before our very eyes. Mm -hmm. Jermaine Jackson working on Sabovich. Well, think of this team with some inside contributions. Which they have on the way next year. They have a couple of Yugoslavian players to join Sabovich. Alexander scored to the left hand. I had the problem with players didn't understand me, but it wasn't a language barrier. <laughs> team put together a big time program. O'Brien at Ohio State. First year, they weren't sure, I believe. Now they're believers. Jason Singleton made an interesting comment. He said, no, we really didn't know much about Coach O'Brien, but we knew Andy Geiger, the athletic director, could pick a good coach. I pray.